made in Ghana TV, Obia Shah made in Ghana TV, a Hona Obe Hu, and your mapa, a Ghana war, and in Sempa, a Ghana war, our demand man for any man on Nifonina, who shall made in Ghana TV, and now we near be. Fellow Ghanaians, this time, in all public and private basic schools, junior high, senior high, and tertiary institutions across the country, beginning this month of January. The lessons drawn from the reopening of some sections of our educational institutions in the course of last year have put us in a much better position to oversee successfully the full reopening of our schools. Our children must go to school, albeit safely. We are satisfied that in the current circumstances, the reopening of our schools is safe. So from 15th January, our children in kindergarten, primary, and junior high, in both private and public schools, will be back in school. All SHS1 students will start classes from 10th March, with all his students embarking on a single-track academic calendar. Their seniors in SHS 2 and SHS 3 will, however, return to school from 18th January. I must stress that SHS 3 students in all schools, like SHS 1 students, will no longer run the double-track system. The expansion of infrastructure at the various senior high schools over the last three years has brought us to this favorable situation. However, the double track system will still be applicable to SHS2 students in schools that are employing it. Students in universities and other tertiary institutions are to be in school from Saturday, 9th of January. Prior to their return to school, government through the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service will ensure that all institutions, public and private, are fumigated and disinfected. Schools and institutions with their own hospitals and clinics will be equipped with the necessary personal protective equipment and have isolation centers to deal with any positive cases. All other schools and institutions without their own clinics and hospitals have been mapped to health facilities. And as we are at you for Ashafor Aqua by Eddie Ba, a year independent square. Na ene jume diye kesebi e koso ewe independence kwe ni nina e fire COVID-19 a abefa e wea si nina no mumuno. Na enra e gana man pini na nado dan kwa akufu wado. Ene gana fo e di nkomo. Na le nkomo ole mwono di tuja se e ye on the 15th. Ene 9th January. E kwe nina ano. E ye sku siyampon ene sku nkuma ni nina ano. Ye ba ba be bie kwa yi ama e mofra. E ya re ene ba ya ya tutu sku mwa mwa inti miya mko sku ni nina ebe she sku ase. Na eno ene ene e huwa be yi ya. A Jumako Caseba acquired what Gana Hanoma, a bat Jumedia Yedi Afa disinfection, and as a fumigation, or Mudimut in Tima, a Zoom Lion Gana Limited. Na a net or more part or more infidia, or my ready sir, or Made Baba Consa, Yare, Aquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaquaqua
ati ni nko fo nyina agu oman ni mo amo mo ashase akwa kwa kwa ko bo eye fumigation na say disinfection e wo schools no say na be ya ya real covid 19 no eh em ko fa oye ne bi e ma bra ye mo fra no e ba ba be ko school ni say juma di no e na e ko so e wo independence square e tu wo hwe bia min che ha no mo eye independence avenue na mi jina say me ne e wo edi en koma no juma di no e gu so e be ko so enti de be si bia no e ye be ko aprobo ni e de wa fa infidie na Omode baba be kun etia sa yare no na so wa hwe oni so ade e wun se ampa zoom lion e juma ku kese a e wose gana for ni wiase jina a ye bo ma chi dom na ya ta o ma chi e wonu mapa omo ye san se eni o ma omo ye ne de ano adin e edutwem e bi eni e ye oman mu ana se africa ha enti ye mo omo aba so e wo sa ala monto na omo afa ade ato mo so se omo be kun etia yare covid 19 no me da se corona virus covid 19 Make finda guru cry o, oye ho. Why ne? Fever ne bo bo wo. Abre, oh do 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 do. E mo she anti scent, anti taste. Um ni mi ya wo yo. E do mi ni di. E mo run in the new code. E do mi ya wo mo e feel it dizzy. Oye ho papa, e di be you a say baby ya. E she we kum kum ni pa. You lo we gu gu in the man a African suda grass and baba. Soja Sudo Corona, Lawyer O Sudo Corona, Malam Sudo Corona, Wala O Paste O Sudo Corona, Mayo, Mayati, Tobia Sudo Corona, Mayo, Mayati, Yena Sudo Corona, Usu Sudo Corona, Sauno Smacks, Saluko Proma, Mama, who are free to meet a social distance and wear Ponano. Sanitizer <laughs> Catching who can coronavirus wake, but he won't know smaskin' it. One more day, let my phone one in good fella. Premise, yeah, but he a waffle for social distance. It is Jima Wake. They blame to Corona, maybe they may will have a walk and let watch it. You see more man walking in the way. She was by son at a while. Will I have any a color, a color, no conclude? And today they won't know smask. Wash and shun a bullet more distance. Attention, no one can corona. Call, call, yeah, for I know the babo. Everybody low, I don't bother you low. I'm a good boy, you know. We're not there, corona. Nah, oh, kuku gala. Got a zaza sanitizer, doji dela, apa prela. No good social distance, me a laba we ya me dela do. Me yewu, me ya tito biya su no corona. Me yewu, me ya tito ye ina ye su no. Kasifra <laughs> You say I eco, the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, Fisheries Commission, Ghana National Canoe Fishermen Council, National Fish Processors and Traders Association, University of Rhode Island, US. At a time when Ghana prepared to fully reopen its educational institutions. As you would recall, last night His Excellency the President in his address to the nation mentioned that from this month, January, schools of all levels will reopen. 
Reopening is in a staggered process, starting from kindergartens going through to tertiary institutions. Throughout this week, there will be a number of engagements to update the Ghanaian public on the various exercises that are being undertaken to ensure that schools can reopen safely. This morning, we are starting with two of such engagements. First, by the Minister responsible for Education, outlining the details of the school reopening program. And second, here, showcasing in partnership with our partners or with our colleagues from the private sector, the equipment and human resources that are supporting the disinfection and preparation of schools and other public places as we step up the COVID response program. I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Health Service and invite the Ghana Health Service, led by Dr. Patrick Mabwaji, to join us and give us the latest on the COVID updates as we prepare to showcase the equipment and human resources with which we are responding to the COVID program. Thank you and welcome once again. Let's welcome Patrick Mabwaji and his team. We've had, uh, we had a, a lot of uh, confirmed cases, and if you take a look at it, as of November, our cases were higher, but from 7th of December after the election, the number of cases have remained flat, and it's actually shown a slight decline uh, compared to the three uh, uh, election tickets. We are having an average of 75 cases a day. And that shows, in our moving average, that shows that about, two, about 75 uh, cases a day on the average are being reported. And that has shown a decline across uh, since the election, and even before the election. So far, five regions have no active cases. These are Savannah, Bono, Western North, uh, Northeast, and OT do not have any active cases. Five regions, uh, Bono East, uh, Upper East, and Upper West have less than 10 cases. The Greater Accra, as I said earlier, has the highest number of cases. Addition of watch facilities, and I must say that that is something that we must really take the best with, so addition of water and sanitation facilities to provide them water for any capacity. Because of the increased uh, hygiene, because of the COVID in the last year, as I mentioned, uh, last year Ghana did not report any case of cholera. We also had a significant reduction in all diarrhea diseases, and about under five children who have diarrhea reduced by almost a third. That is something we need to look at. We will continue the disinfection of all schools to make the place safer as the school reopens. Most importantly, is to abide by the. Um, but the protocols is by ensuring that we do the risk communication. People understand what we are talking about, change their behavior to avoid uh, infection, and that the objective is to encourage, especially the children, to observe the COVID-19 protocols in a way that are keen to them. You can see that the, 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 the kindergarten kid may want to have a red or exchange a change mask with a friend. These are all things we are working on. We have to make them take responsibility for their own safety and that of their family and friends in an enjoyable and fun way. So we are going to do an entertainment education program that will be coming up to ensure that we continue the education, especially the KG and lower primary. We want to increase the understanding of the COVID-19 uh, and how to stay safe using measures that are simple and visual and entertaining, as I mentioned. The target to be children and are from primary one to six years as an institution. So and of course, the appearance to ensure that we all continue improving our time. So, Mr. Honorable Minister, with this words, I want to thank you all for this opportunity to share the update with you. Thank you very much. Our municipal and district chief executives, Nime, Name, executives, boards of directors, and staff of just one group of companies, members of Pest and Better Control Association of Ghana, PIVA, friends from the media. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first to wish us all a happy new year, a new year full of prospects and opportunities for all. In the midst of the novel coronavirus pandemic last year, 
the government of Ghana was recognized and lauded by its peers as one of the best in Africa in terms of its response and efforts in curbing the spread of the virus. This was achieved through the concerted efforts of government and other public and private sector players, including Zoom Lion Ghana Limited and its partners. I wish to thank His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akufu Adu and the people of Ghana for believing in, supporting the private sector, and providing the opportunity to serve our nation, especially in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Permit me to also express my profound appreciation to the various ministers of state and the ministries of sanitation and water resources, local government and rural development, health, defense, aviation, information, education and other agencies for their support in this fight against COVID-19. I also thank the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Obed Apa, and the Inspector General of Police, Mr. James Opong Bonu, and other security institutions who have been with us throughout all the disinfection exercises, out of which we have had a lot of practical knowledge in handling emergency exercises. Special appreciation goes to the Metropolitan, Municipal and District Chief Executives and other stakeholders for their support in undertaking the nationwide disinfection exercises. This morning, we are gathered here to showcase a fleet of state-of-the-art disinfection and fumigation vehicles and equipment used in supporting government's efforts of drastically reducing the spread of the pandemic. Let me also start by expressing our profound gratitude to the 7,000 personnel and other partners who made huge sacrifices of undertaking the nationwide disinfection exercises in all parts of the country. The occasion is also to indicate our readiness and the partners in the pest and vector industry to undertake the nationwide disinfection of all our educational institutions and schools as they prepare to be opened on January 15, 2021. In this regard, we have procured a wide range of state-of-the-art disinfection vehicles and equipment, including 50 atomizing vehicles, 10 street disinfection trucks, 5,000 motorized spraying machines, 5,000 knapsack spray machines, 100 disinfection drones, and 5,000 handheld spray machines. In terms of workforce, Zoom Lion alone can boast of over 7,000 spraying guns across the country who have been well trained with skills and the art of disinfection by the internationally recognized Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research. In order to share our professional experiences, we have also established an association with a primary objective to control pests and vector and diseases through fumigation and disinfection. The association is referred to as the Pest and Vector Control Association of Ghana, which is also known as PIVA for short. This association has about 10,000 spraying men ready to serve Mother Ghana when called upon. Last year, Zoom Lion, through its implementing agencies, Vector Pest Ghana Limited, and other government agencies, disinfected over 6,000 markets, 31,450 31, schools, various public places, including over 5,000 churches and mosques, all airports, regional centers, as well as military and police centers across the country against COVID-19. COVID-19 is still with us, and we need to continuously plan and build our human resource and logistical capacity to prevent its spread through effective disinfection and good hygiene. The theme of the event today, as Happy States, is making Ghana safer and healthier. 
We believe that these nationwide disinfection exercises, which are being undertaken by WHO recommended chemicals and technical advice from Uchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research, for the training and guidance has the potential of sustaining the gains made in containing the spread of the COVID-19 and make our public places safe for life to bounce back to normalcy. We in the private sector continue to pledge our commitment to supporting any government initiative that will help to make Ghana a safe and healthy environment to attract investors. On this note, I wish to commend the organizers of this exhibition. Let me end by thanking the television stations, radio stations and print houses and other online media platforms for their continuous support. Thank you all for your attention and may the good Lord bless us all and make our homeland Ghana strong and healthy. Thank you. Indeed, the day the Lord has made and we will all rejoice and be glad in it. We all know the reason for our gathering. We are here to witness and to look at the state of the art equipment being used by expert members led by the Zoom Lion group of companies. It's always good to have a first hand view of what they are doing and to see the equipment they are working with. I must use the That's opportunity to commend the Zoom Lion group of companies for investing heavily in these equipment to do the work that they are contracted to do. We, as a ministry, stand in solidarity with the Zoom Lion group of companies and also other expert members to do their work in the sanitation area. We have initiated the recycling projects in all 16 regions of the country. We have also partnered with them to do special cleansing and cleaning of all our major cities. We have also done, for the first time in the history of this nation, special evacuation of age-old refuse dumps some as old as 100 years. There has also been a collaboration in the provision of special vehicles for monitoring of sanitation projects. And these were supplied to the Ghana Armed Forces and the Ghana Police Service, as well as some MMDCs to do their work. We are particularly happy that His Excellency his ingenuity and his compassion for the vulnerable. He has extended the free water supply to the vulnerable for another three months. And we call them the lifeline users and consumers of water as well as electricity. This will go a long way to heighten their hygienic practices and make sure that this epidemic is prevented in their midst. I know that what we didn't even achieve in 10 years, this short period that His Excellency provided this exemplary leadership in the prevention and eradication of this pandemic, we have achieved in the area of sanitation vis-a-vis -vis personal hygiene, environmental hygiene, etc., etc. I know that we shall all continue to observe the COVID protocols, especially the hand washing and making sure we sanitize our hands and our homes and do constant fumigation. I use this platform to also entreat all of us to have our homes fumigated to rid them of pests and other dangerous animals. I know also that with all the efforts being put in place, Ghana will surely defeat this pandemic. I thank you and I welcome you and may the good Lord bless us all. Thank you. We open from the second week of January and the President directed that all schools should be fumigated and disinfected 
before the kids and as well as the provision of PPEs and observance of the COVID protocols before the students get in there. We hope that in partnering Zoom Lion and his companies and the sister companies that he works with, we can get the work done as quickly and as neatly and as efficiently and effectively as we enjoy to let school reopen happen on the school scale. Thank you. We have observed that the people that have been brought and we hope that we'll be the first beneficiaries of the brand new people before probably they break down. So that it will be put to work in our schools, public schools all over the country, and private schools as well, uh, so that kids can go back to school after their nine month break. Thank you. We wish you all well.
the enabling environment for the private sector to thrive and our doors are open we will collaborate and help uh, encourage all the private sector who are ready to come into the um, services uh, that they mean to render to this beautiful nation today's event is a good one in the sense that there is a renewed uh, effort mm -hmm. to make sure we all prevent and eradicate this COVID-19 pandemic, especially with the new strains that have come on board. We are praying to God, as the President said, that very soon Ghana will acquire some of the vaccines to be used. But meanwhile, we should strictly observe the protocols, hand washing, keeping a social distance, and making sure our face and uh, nose and mouth masks are always in place. We should not renege, we should always be on track to make sure we don't let our guard down. Because it's a disease that is airborne, etc., etc. We all need to practice good hygienic hygiene to make sure our hygienic practices are deepened. So I'm particularly happy as the Minister for Sanitation and water resources to be part of this. We, like I said, we've gone with them. The Environmental Service Providers Association, led by the Just One group of companies, to make sure that we encourage ourselves. We are partners with the assemblies, local governments, education, with the fumigation of schools, fumigation of markets. It's within their purview. But we are also within our purview to make sure that the provision of water is there okay. for us to wash our hands and cook with and use it domestically. The president gave us free water for close to nine months and he has, as a result of his empathy, taken care of the vulnerable for them to go on using free water. With Ghana Water Services, they number about 1.5 million okay. and people and then these households will get free water to make sure they don't lack water. Then the rural areas already, their usage is within the zero to uh, five uh, cubic meters. So we are also covered there. So we entreat the press. You are one of our major stakeholders to make sure we propagate the COVID protocols, the necessity for all of us to adhere to them and make sure we all succeed. Okay. I want to commend you and wish you Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you too.